Howdy! How's everybody out there in YouTube land today? I hope this finds you well. I hope everything is going fine where you are in beautiful weather. Here we are in beautiful spring day. And I'm going to be working on engraving a knife handle for you. What I have here, this is a Grand Way knife. High quality stainless steel blade. Uh, I guess you can get these at www.grandway dot ua um i don't know where i got it at particularly um i collect knives i've got all kinds of knives but i picked this now because i wanted to do some engraving on the handle and i will be muting for the engraving part of this because i know a lot of you don't like the sound of the the drill it sounds like a dental drill because essentially that is what the engraving tool is um this particular knife comes with a sheath here it's uh just a nylon sheath and um, it's a, a pretty little sheath you should never store your knives in these sheaths if you're going to carry your knife for any period of time you know you can always put it in here but you should never store a knife in a sheath because it makes the blade pit just so you know that if you happen to have knives and they're in sheaths in the drawer someplace get them out check them out polish up the blades get the pits out of them now Whenever I'm working on a knife like this, I always bind up the blade on it because I don't want to get cut. Uh, wrap good thick layer of paper towels around it and tape the dickens out of it so that I'm not going to get cut while I handle the knife. And um, I have cut out a couple patterns and put on here some Southwest type designs, kind of concho type designs. And this um, already has a hole through the handle on it where you can put a little hand strap or a uh, piece of cord um, you could put uh, parachute cord through there you could use uh, a leather strap whatever kind of cording that you want to put in there in that if you wanted to uh, but right now we don't have any cord in this one at all i'm going to engrave the handle on this and i haven't decided if i'm going to engrave the blade yet or not we'll just take one step at a time here with this but i thought you might enjoy watching me engrave this handle on this knife so uh with that being said i'm going to see if i can mute the audio here and let you watch me get this engraved so here we go
Okay, while the uh, engraver has been decompressing over here, I turned the air compressor off and we're letting the air out of the tool. Uh, I went ahead and I took the pattern off of the handle and there you see the pretty design that I've got on there. Now we could paint it, leave it alone. I think I'm going to leave it alone. I think it's pretty as it is. Um, if you painted it, uh, you definitely need to put some Krylon or something on there to protect it because it is the handle and you figure the, the knife will probably ha be handled quite a bit over the years. So there we have that part and we can unwrap this blade and take a look in all of its glory here. I'm going to take the knife to her here and cut through some of this tape so that I can go to pulling this wrapping that I got on here off of it. And you can see the beauty of this knife it is a pretty piece. And it would be pretty with the blading grades as well. I just don't know that I'm going to do that to this particular knife. And Cut through a little more of that wrapping. Being careful to stay away from the sharp end of the blade as we unwrap it. Not get cut. There we go. And there it is. It's already got a wolf on the blade there, but you could come on down through here with more. Uh, fancy scroll work, whatever you want to do. And on the other side of it, you could do some more fancy work on it. But there it is. Pretty knife with a nice little design on the handle. And that's how quick and easy it is to do some engraving. If you're going to do engraving, I don't recommend using a Dremel. Dremel tends to chew them up. It doesn't go fast enough in order to uh, put the design on the wood without chewing it. The um, engraving tool is extremely rapid. It's got a turbo motor in it. If you're interested in these engraving tools, you can find these at scmsystems.com on the internet. Uh, it is called the Power Carver. And they have the complete system with the tool and the air compressor and all that. And I don't make anything off of telling you that. Um, but they're nice tools to have. They have a whole lot of different bits that go into these tools. You can use them on glass. You can use them on metal, wood, plastics, all different kinds of things. Um, and so it's a nice little tool. I love it. I try to use mine every day on something. It's a handy little item to have around. So with all that being said, check down there in my description on the URL. I've added the URL for TubeBuddy, and uh, if you do videos, you're going to want to download TubeBuddy. It is great for doing your tags and um, looking up st stats and all kinds of things, thumbnails, all kinds of things to help you with your videos and help you uh, improve on your channel. In addition to that, you'll find me on Twitter, Instagram. Here uh, on YouTube, I do a live stream at 8 p.m. on Monday evenings. Mark your calendars for that. We have a lot of fun there in my live streams, and I'm learning OBS, so we keep adding a little bit to that all the time. I do a live stream on Twitch where I do crafting on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you over there. I also have a Patreon channel that you can join, and I've got some videos up there. I'll be adding some more as uh, the Patreons increase over there on that channel. I also have an Etsy store. So if you like the things that I make here on the show, you'll find a lot of them over there on the Etsy, as well as the homemade soap and jewelry and things that I do. So I uh, hope to see you over there on the Etsy as well. And with all that being said, there's only one thing left to say. Brenda's crafty. Be like Brenda. Bye.